Determination of copper in water. The practical lesson consists of the following sections. Objective. Introduction. Materials and reactants. Methodology. Results. The aim of the practical lesson is to identify the presence of copper in water with a geodometry test. Introduction Copper to salts in slightly acidic medium react with an excess of potassium iodide, giving the next reaction. In this balance we can see that copper salts with excess of iodide are forming a white precipitate of copper iodine that is insoluble in acetic acid medium and also that free iodine and copper salts are formed. Therefore, we examine free iodine with a solution of sodium dithionite, using as an indicator a start solution, according to the following reaction. Materials and reactants. The following materials are required to do the assay. Burret stand and clamps. Chest tube. Erlenmeyer. Automatic pipette. Distilled water. Sample of water problem. Reagents for the investigation of copper. Sodium dithionite, ammonium hydroxide, hydrochloric acid, glacial acetic acid, potassium iodide solution, start solution. Take 10 ml of water and transfer it to a Erlenmeyer. Then add a slight excess of ammonium hydroxide until the solution takes a deep blue color. Then we add a few drops of chloritic acid and 20 milliliters of potassium iodide until a greenish color appears and also add 5 milliliters of glacial acetic acid. It is then all diluted to about 50 milliliters and then we start to measure up the free iodine with a solution of sodium dithionine until the solution takes a yellowish color.
and then add some drops of starch solution. The solution will become dark blue and we will continue evaluating until a milky white color appears. This is the end point of the titration. Results The copper concentration expressed in grams per liter was calculated by multiplying the amount of spent dithionite by its factor and normality and then dividing it by the sample volume then it is all multiplied by a thousand to express it in grams per liter. <laughs>